OK. This is number 14, looking at it. And when applying this property, what we notice is we have a lot of multiplication going on, right? Um, but to do that, what we need to look at is what, proper, what powers um, or what properties of exponents are we going to use? And the first property of exponent we want to use is the power of product. And what the power of product says is if I have a times b raised to the m power, that means both a and b are going to be raised to that m power. So what that means is since I have m to the fourth and to the sixth raised to the fourth, both of these terms need to be raised to the fourth. And also, all terms inside of this parenthesis need to be raised to the sixth. So therefore, I'm going to have m to the fourth raised to the fourth and to the sixth raised to the fourth times m to the third raised to the sixth n squared raised to the sixth, p to the fifth raised to the sixth. Whew. Did everybody say that? What I did? I just pretty much distributed the exponent to all the terms. It's the power of product property. The next property is going back to that multiplication, oh, I'm sorry, is the power of power, which states if you have a to the m raised to the n power, that equals a to the m times n. And this is what everybody gets wrong with the product property, is they always want to say, oh, when you multiply exponents, you multiply the exponents, right? Well, in reality, you're only adding the exponents. But when you raise an exponent to another exponent, this is when you're going to multiply them, OK? So what we're simply going to do, all right, yes? You would put the 3 to the power as well. Yes. So now what I have is m to the 16th, because now I'm just multiplying my exponents, n to the 24th, m to the 18th, n to the 12th, and p to the 30th. So you just multiply your exponents. And now I can combine. And yes, yeah, so what, um, what Ken was talking about is like, let's say I had a 3 there. Well, then that would be 3 to the fourth power as well, right? But unfortunately, we didn't, in this problem, we don't have a 3 there. So now, let's just get our like terms next to each other. So I have m to the 16th times m to the 18th times n to the 24th, n to the 12th, and p to the 30th. Since it's all multiplication, guys, it doesn't matter how I write it, right? 2 times 3 is the same as 3 times 2. So I just rewrote them with my terms next to each other. So therefore, I notice that my last, my last property states that a to the m times a to the m equals a to the n plus m. So therefore, this is m to the 16 plus 18, n to the 24 plus 12, and p to the 30th power. Cool? Okay. Kind of. m equals 34, n he, n to the 36th and p to the 30th. Those should probably be like a little bit closer. No, I'll do it for you. Ta-da. Done. Yes? What's 2m? Oh, 2m. Oh, um, hmm. If I did 3 squared times 3 squared, I know I always like to get these on you, don't I? 3 squared times 3 squared, we know the answer is 81, right? Okay. 3 squared times 3 squared is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, right? Well, you're saying what? It would, this should be 2, 3 squared, right? Isn't that what you, like, your comment was like referring to? Like, wouldn't that make sense, right? So then you look at this, though. 3 squared is 9. 9 times 2, that equals 18. That's not the same. I mean, those are not the same. Do you kind of see how it works with real numbers? So all I'm saying is when you do 3 squared times 3 squared, what that means is that's equal to 
3 squared times 3 squared is equal to 3 to the fourth, or 3 to the 2 plus 2, which equals 3 to the fourth power. So m to the 16th times m to the 18th, all I want you to do is keep your base m and just add the exponents. Okay, we don't need, there's no, no sense of doing 2m. Now, if, where you're, where you're kind of remembering, is if these were the same, if this was like m squared plus m squared, then you get 2m squared, right? However, um, they have to make sure they're like terms. And we're not adding, we're multiplying. So multiplying, you just add, you add the exponents. Make sense? OK. Um, good clarification. Clarification. Whoa, that kind of looks like.